everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Alvaro Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button guys. And remember to share as sharing is free as well and sharing is also caring as well. So just also remember to subscribe, smash that like button guys. And guys, it's Everton nil, Manchester United 2. Manchester United through to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Yes, after a smash. It, well, it was going to be a smash and grab what it looked like. But eventually it just came into a, just a comfortable win. It, that's what it turned into. Manchester United scoring two goals against Everton in the last, what, 10, 15 minutes of the game. Anderson Cavani, boom, smashed a wonderful goal. But guys, I have to say, I am pleased. I know you guys are pleased. So am I. Manchester United going through. We don't, don't care who we're playing. Right now, I don't care. Well, it could be Man City. Bring them on. Don't care. I feel like Manchester United are in a good spirits, good mood to actually do something in this Carabao Cup and win it. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment description. But I personally think that Manchester United right now are looking very confident with their win against Everton. Looking very confident as a squad today as, as well. And guys, don't lie to yourself. You know we're looking confident. Oli knows we're looking confident. Even your mom knows that we're looking confident right now. You can believe that we could have an opportunity to win. But at the, at the same time, back to life, back to reality. We got no title of Champions League. So I, at the same time, can the boys do it? We'll find out and we will see whether they've got the courage, whether they've learnt from that dismissed Champions League exit, which I, 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 I want to talk about it, but yeah, we are talking about it. If the boys have shown that they've learnt from this, then I truly believe that they can win this Carabao Cup. And whoever, whether they face Man City, to, and, and I'm hoping that we will play Man City and rectify what's happened last season against them in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. And if we beat them, then I know that we can win the Carabao Cup. And I know that the boys have learned. But guys, let's go straight into the game. That first 30 minutes to 45 minutes, guys, Manchester United complete domination against Everton. We was in complete having the best chance against Everton, especially in that first 20 minutes. Just to see Paul Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, Donny van der Beek playing together at the same time, including Matic as well. But just to see those three playing together at the same time, it was just great. It was great. You saw a bit of tenacity as well. You saw a bit of very good um, ball retention, you know. Van der Beek, excellent at keeping the ball. What I've got to say about Donny, he's a Don, guys. You know he is. But Donny, keeping the ball to the absolute T, even when you feel like he's just about to lose the ball, huh. He don't play games. He still keeps it and passes on to his teammate. And with Bruno Fernandes today, but of course Bruno doing what he's doing, playing some key passes. Of course, Paul Pogba as well was excellent today. You know, it was just a, it was a Rolls Royce in the midfield. Labile Trachimonga Conesa, but Labile doing his thing, man, just running the midfield. Telling players where to pass to as well, orchestrating as well in the midfield as well. Even telling his blood clot slabbed captain what to do. Pointing that like, pass there, bro. Pass there. You blind? The slabbed like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna big head and I'm gonna slap back, you know. I don't. I don't know. But with those three being amazing in midfield, it enabled us to actually control the midfield and create better chances, especially in that first 45 minutes. Going into that second half, guys, of course, some of you may have thought that that, that first half may have been boring and, and, and also the second half may have been boring, but it wasn't boring at all. Manchester United were comfortable and um, playing, controlling, I would say, possession football, you know. They were patient, patient with the ball, trying to build something, especially in the third and final phases of their attacking play. So, saying in saying that, it led to our first goal. Of course, Oli, kudos to you. I'm not going to lie, you made an excellent substitution. But then again, you have the squad now. So there is no excuses to change the game. He brought on Martial and also Rashford. And with Martial picking up the ball, speeding up the play, running at defenders, passing the ball to Cavani. And Cavani striking the ball. And guys, wonderful goal by El Matador, my G. You know, I saw that. Guys, did you see that? Did you see Edison Cavani grab someone's throat? Yeah, he was lucky. He should have been sent off. But boy, Cavani, you're in trouble already. You're being investigated and you're grabbing man's throat. Phew, you're moving, man. But yes, Cavani scoring an amazing goal. Brilliant goal. Brilliant goal. Brilliant goal. You know, 
it was just devastating and i can i can feel it from the everton's goalkeepers you know he, his heart was broken you guys when he conceded he was pissed i'll be pissed as well from there guys everton we had everton on the rope they were falling apart they were just crumbling guys and we kept on getting them in the counter attack in the last 10 in the last couple of minutes and of course with that marshall being slotted in by marcus rashford marshall scoring for us Again, another goal for Marshall's confidence. Just for you pagans. Haters. Yes, he scored. And I'm pleased for Marshall to get that goal, especially on the counter-attack. He was the difference, of course, in the last 10 to 15 minutes. Him coming on, him driving at the Everton defence, creating the opportunity for Edison Cavani to score his goal. And also in the, involved in the counter-attack for Mark Rush to slip him in. Marshall was a difference maker. And guys, apart from that, yeah, good. It was a good game. None of you guys can complain. I can't complain. It was a good game of football. Manchester United done well. They did what we have to do to go through. And I'm pleased with that. I just want to see them try and win the semi-finals and get into the finals and win a trophy. We all want to see Manchester United win a trophy. And it would be good for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to win a trophy to get that confidence in the team. The team needs to start winning as well and start breeding confidence and breeding that winning mentality. If they go through after the semi-finals and get into that finals, then why not? They can build a winning mentality. Man of the match today, guys. Straight up, Edison Cavani, my G. Of course, man. The only reason why is because he scored that, I will say, the winning goal. Apart from that, I don't have no donkey of the match. No donkey of the match today, guys. Mm-mm, mm-mm, nah. No one's going to get donkey of the match. I was going to give it to, to someone from Everton, but nah. It's mocking the thing. I'm not here to mock the thing today. I'm just pleased that we are through. Um, Manchester United fans, be pleased, be happy. Hopefully that we probably get Brentford. But then again, I wouldn't mind if we get Manchester City. Bring them on. Bring them on. Any team like that, even Spurs, it will be a good opportunity to get one over Spurs and make what's that pum pum pum's name? Jose Mourinho upset, and I would love to see that. But guys, it's been wonderful. Come to the end of the show. Let me know who your man in the match was and let me know what you thought of the match as well in the comment description below. Of course, guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share the post to everyone that you know that loves Manchester United and loves football and you know that will love me, guys. Of course, remember to follow the socials as well. Remember to follow the official Instagram account to Red United, which is Red United one baby, and also my personal instagram account which is ivorin underscore spice same as the twitter guys and remember guys remember that we have the catch up volume 23 coming out this week friday on a christmas day and of course as always remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united peace out